Amen. Let us have four poems of peaceful protest. Shoe. I am the old leather shoe that fits no contemporary feet, that sashays down a darker street, that dances with the elves I meet, that entertains those I would entreat, that kicks asses of those who eat my mother, our mother, Gaia, our planet, our home, the home of fellow earthlings, our mountains, our rivers, our trees, our food for profit they take, for wars upon our spirits they make, thieves who break our hearts, our minds, windows to our souls. Assholes they, crude slick dudes, elites they call themselves, banksters we call them, voracious, rapacious, vicious monsters who mind-numb the masses with modified grasses, grains, modified meat, fish, and polluted water. I am the old leather shoe that kicks their greedy asses, that stomps knuckles, stomps guts, stomps brains, stomps their eyes. The old leather shoe that dances on their graves. Pursuit of Songbirds One must be made aware of songbird slaughter. Cell phone towers and microwaves kill the feathered ones. Doers of darker deeds done dirty destroy dozens or more songbirds of the human community daily. Deaf and dumb is preferred by puppeteers pulling piano wire strings into garrots and things like rings around necks of bird singers, truth slingers, bringers of light of reality to dark shadows of deceit. Sweet are songs of birds, yet bitter words emerge from mouths of truth singers, alarm ringers. Patterns pepper parapets and portals of ancient palaces and places of the past. Some speak in glyphs, some in codes of modes of massacre and mayhem meted out to the masses. Devious Yang, opposed to Yin Yodel, slays in myriad ways the ones who dare speak out. Are there no eagles left to soar over seas of singers seeking to entreat with sweet sounds their talons to tear to pieces pursuers of songbirds? Puppets. What appalls is the arrogance, especially of puppet players of political theater. There is, in addition, the appalling complacency of the sheeple, people ensnared in society's web. Mind numbed by ad men in their faces, along with chem chemicals in their water, their air. In the very fair they eat in moribund meadows, manipulated by puppets who serve puppets, who serve masters so few in number as to appall common sense. Masters in whose defense paramilitary puppets parade right under the noses of sheeple proud of them. Those who are awake writhe in agonies of woe. They know the eleventh hour has long passed. They know new speak will be law of the globe. Puppets probe their cell phones, computers. Puppets probe their minds, their bodies, their pets. Puppets proliferate. They dance to vibrations by those who play upon, prey upon their strings. Eleventh Hour Horror Dare I write ere I visit mainstream news? I believe I may, should I choose to comment upon real stories not designed for eyes and minds of sheep or other complacent creatures controlled by media of shameless shepherds who savage this wonderful garden of earthy deep heights. What real rights the masses may have had are long gone before convention songs sang to programmed population of consumers rang through vapid halls where thought used to dwell, ere buy and sell of a stolen nation ramped up under a searing sun scorching skin and bone. Phone tapped by yes-men, dweebs and geeks, who pre-program TV for Big Brother views, who eliminate once sacred internet venues where whistleblowers could sound an alarm to arm those awakened from sleep of the dead to announce dread of an eleventh-hour horror. More mayhem to come ensures a show for all when the call to agenda mandates goes out to automatons prepared to proceed with orders given by the few to enclose the multitude with rivers of crude, rude machinations meant to enslave and eliminate most of them. And on that final note, 
I shall bid you adieu.